when people heard that Michael Tellinger was coming back on the show, uh, a lot of people were bringing up the flat earth. Yes. And so when I talked about global elite, global strategies, yes. that assumes that the earth's a globe. Yes. We don't have a lot of time, but uh, do you have uh, any thoughts on the flat earth topic? Yeah, Russell, you know, I was in introduced to this flat earth theory about um, two and a half years ago now and um, and my, my response to it was like most people just, what a bunch of idiots are they, are they insane this is just another infiltration to try and make the new age movement or the spiritual world it's an infu to infiltrate and make, make them look like a bunch of idiots and you know I didn't even give it a second thought I just thought it was a bunch of idiots um, what uh, what I then did because it kept coming on my radar I thought well let me look at some of these things what they say and then I found very distinctly two two areas of information one which was which was, which was feeding me some interesting scientific facts and others which were cl clearly trolls to try and undermine and destabilize and and make everybody look stupid but obviously I approach everything with a scientific perspective and I want to know uh, what's going on and I've also reached the conclusion that everything we've been told is a lie, and I mean that everything from our knowledge of from 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 religion to to knowledge of science and technology to you know quantum physics to everything we've been told and learned at school, at taught at school is a lie, and uh, the history of our planet, um, uh, everything's been manipulated, and we pretty much got to start from scratch, uh, and. So I approached the flat earth from that perspective. Well, what if there's some semblance of truth in this? What if the ancient cultures that speak about a flat earth and what about all these ancient images that we get shown uh, about the flat earth I have more to it than meets the eye? So I started looking at it and to my surprise, I started finding some very serious problems with the ball earth theory and a lot of interesting arguments that suggest that uh, you know, we need to investigate this a lot deeper. And, uh, and uh, for example, I, I found with the whole curvature thing, the, curv the global curvature thing has two elements to it. The one is that, that you know, from your position of view, if you're standing on a, on a giant ball, you're not going to see curvature anyway. There's going to be a, a, a line around you, all the way around you, that from your perspective is, is the, as far as you can see. So anyone that suggests that you're going to see a curvature of the Earth, from your perspective, they, they they haven't thought it through and they they haven't given any scientific evaluation. However, curvature in terms of looking into the distance and figuring out whether there is any curvature, well, that was a shock to the system. I always believed that ships disappeared over the edge you know, and and and, and on, onto the ocean in in the ocean over the edge. And then I started researching that and 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 looking, listening to people from the military and the Navy talking about missiles that they, you know, surface to surface missi missiles that they shoot line of sight uh, 80 miles into the distance, line of sight, and basically saying, look, if I, if I can't see it, I can't shoot it, and I'm shooting at something 80 miles away, so clearly there can't be any curvature. So that started, you know, made me pay attention to this, and um, and at the time, I also started looking at the the globe Earth model as in the magnetic uh, terms, and you know the whole thing of gravity. The fact that gravity has never been explained it remains the most mysterious aspect of science and physics today. Nobody can explain what gravity is. It's this invisible magical force that sucks everything to a ball. They can't really explain it. They they observe what they call gravity, but they can't really explain it. And I started looking at the magnetic effect and my research into the origins of humankind, the origins of, of everything in creation, um, and my understanding of sound resonance, how sound and resonance is the source of everything. And when you read ancient scripture, when you read all ancient civilizations, they all share the same common denominator. Everything emerges, everything in creation comes out of the the primordial sound and resonance of the creator or the creative source. So it is the sound and resonance that give rise to magnetic fields and moving magnetic fields give rise to electricity and electromagnetic fields. And I started looking at that linear 
uh, scientific understanding of, of our nature of reality and the electromagnetic universe that is actually the magnetoelectric universe and getting a deeper understanding of that and then realizing that the magnetic model of our Earth does not stand to scrutiny of magnetic field studies. And that suddenly started, you know, m making me examine and question the ball Earth theory in deeper scientific, um, with deeper scientific questions. And then you look further at uh, the, the Michelson-Morley ex Michelson experiment that was very clearly hidden and fr from sight because it clearly shows that the Earth does not move through space, which is something I never knew. I did not know that. I always believed that the Earth moved around the Sun and everything was spinning and moving and traveling through space at million, millions of miles an hour. I always accepted what I was told by my teachers. Once again, I had to remind myself that everything we've been told is a lie. So, could the flat Earth versus ball Earth theory be one of those lies that we were told? At this stage, um, you know, I, I have my own theories on this, but I also discovered the moment I started sharing, just sharing my theories from a scientific perspective, I came under such venomous attack from people that I decided to, to bury it and just not talk about it. Because you know, I like to discuss everything and anything, and I invite everyone into the Ubuntu movement, and I expect people in the Ubuntu movement to be open-minded and be prepared to discuss everything and be rational about it and evaluate everything to the best of our ability. But I came under such venomous attack from people everywhere that I realized that you know this is maybe not the right time to start talking about the flat earth because as, as scientific as I want to be about it, some people are just not ready to discuss it. And I realized that it has become the holiest cow, even holier than the money issue. And uh, so for now, it's more important for us to save the world from economic slavery and find a new way out of this 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 enslavement system that we're all born into uh, than worrying about whether the earth is flat or a ball as soon as we freed ourselves from the enslavement situation that we are in all that stuff will come out of the woodwork in any case bear with me for a moment just let me explain when you go to any popular search engine, I prefer Bing over Google because fuck Google, but they're all the same. They are all just as bad. But you go to any image search and you type in real pictures of Earth. Ah, uh, really? Real pictures of Earth from space from outer space. We'll go from outer space. Alright. And every single photo you get is altered, a composite, or com computer graphics, or, or like a painting. It's They're all fake. Every one of them is fake. This is probably an example of the most realistic photo, quote unquote photo, from, of Earth from space. But it's not real. There's no stars in this photograph. It's highly edited. It, it looks like they combined high altitude footage with computer graphics. Now, if you follow the link, I found this pretty interesting. Seven amazing pictures of planet Earth from outer space. It's <laughs> Earth from a distance. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a, that's a computer graphic. This is that same fake photograph we just went over. That was in probably another one in the series. Still no stars or anything real. They shine a big spotlight at the camera in a dark room and, you know, threw some computer graphics in the mix there. But that's your sun, people. That white light there that doesn't look anything like that yellow ball in the sky <laughs> that's reflecting yellow light off the water there. Yeah, that's your sun. Anyway, yeah, no stars in that sky. This is, again, another high-altitude photo if it isn't a computer graphic completely. Another high altitude photo, probably from a U2 or SR-71, a complete fraud of a photograph here. Another fraud of a photo, looks like some more high altitude imaging. But something I found was pretty funny um, on this, uh, this here, I decided to come down and just read some of the comments. 
And I saw this, the awesomeness of our beautiful planet, and I was just like, I'm not even going to re reply to that or look into that. And then comes down here and says, do not bring Jesus into this. Jesus had no idea our planet was a sphere. For him, it was flat. And I think a few people in my audience will find that to be an interesting comment left on this forum. Anyway, to get back to the fact that there are no real pictures of Earth from outer space, they are all fake. That's fake is all get up. Obviously not real. Fake. This is not what the Earth looks like from a distance. And, you know, so on and so forth, so forth down the line. Now, you might think that you have better look, luck on Google. Google, real pictures of the Earth from space. Same stuff, guys. All composites. All fakery. It's all fake. Every bit of it. Not one. And you have to ask yourself, if you were to put in real pictures of the Earth from space, there's no stars in this. This is edited. Like some kind of fishbowl effect. Um, but if you were to put real pictures of the Earth from space into your browser, you will not get one picture that is actually real. Every one of them is fake. So having this conversation, like why is shit from, from a crappy movie showing up under real pictures of Earth from space? You know that's not a real picture of Earth from space. So... I've been waking up a lot of people with this. Whenever I trap my, my friends in the same room, I kind of, you know, get them to look into this, and it piques their interest. It works very well when getting through to the sheet. Now, having this conversation with a few of my more open-minded friends that had never looked into any of this, they brought up, one of them, my buddy Jesse, brought up the point. He said, why don't you search for pictures of satellites in space because you would think that well the satellite repair they have to do and all that other stuff that you would be able to find pictures of satellites in space and this is even more comical than trying to find real pictures real pictures of satellites in outer space here we go now check out this glory here first picture the first picture that comes up for real pictures a search of real pictures from outer space you get all this nonsense. Look at it. No stars. One of the more realistic photos you would get if my computer would hurry up and focus. But there's no stars in that picture. This here was, this is literally a movie set, guys. This is literally a movie set. If you, if you cannot tell that this is green screen around something, and that this is all this is like high altitude imaging at night. These are all fake. And there should be nothing but real pictures of satellites in outer space. But we get all this fake stuff. If there's this many satellites in outer space, then if there are that many satellites, in outer space. We should get photographs from out here all the way in. We get photographs from up here all the way in. And they say that GPS doesn't work on the South Pole, guys. Why does global positioning system not work on the South Pole if we have all these satellites down here around the South Pole? That, that's a complete blanket of satellites around the Earth, allegedly. So why do we have no photographs of these satellites around the Earth? None. Not one real photograph of a satellite in space under Google. Now I'll go over to Bing.
and we'll go to real pictures of satellites in outer space. And this guy, that's a real picture of a satellite. Uh, if you think that is real, you should just go outside and hit yourself in the head with a ball peen hammer. If you think that this is a real photograph of a satellite in space, you need to do more homework. So, this is a great way to get through to people, guys. That's, that's the only reason why I'm making this video. I really have to give it to learn the Jesuit order. I never would have came about this way of thinking if I didn't start showing my friends that there are no real photographs of the Earth from space. And the ones that are real photographs of the Earth from space are high altitude photographs that have been edited. Because of learning the Jesuit order, I got on that tantrum and woke up quite a few people. As a matter of fact, I got, woke up about a half a dozen in just a you know relatively short period of time. And one of those people actually gave me, you know, the idea, or they told me that I should start looking for satellite photos in space. And that's another great point, because if you think that these are real people, there's something else, uh, there's something else. You've got a bigger problem. <laughs> All right, I don't want to make this any longer than it needs to be. I think you can see for yourself exactly what's going on here. Now... The one thing that I want you to do is not get stuck on the fact that there are no real pictures of the Earth from space or there's no real pictures of a satellite from space. I want you to question yourself, why is it that there are no real pictures of the Earth from space? Why is it that there are no real pictures of a satellite in space? If you start asking yourself those questions, and start looking for answers to those questions, you'll be pretty interested where you go. Alright guys, thank you very much.